what do you do when your monitor goes and it's one of those funky brand monitors that you can no longer fix ah these were in some of the oddball games a customer had bought at a garage sale a moon cresta sega's wonderful moon cresta game from 1980 and worked great for two weeks and the monitor took a dump you could hear the game couldn't see it and sadly it was one of those horrible monitors 100 volt monitors not a sanyo but another brand Actually, here's the monitor now. We have it out in the recycling bin. Here is the original monitor that was inside the machine. And this is a 100 volt, as you can see, that Sega put in all their overseas machines that they shipped to us. But unfortunately, it's just not going to be fixable. So we decided to put it outside for our recycling ladies. And there, it will, instead of going into a landfill, it will end up being recycled for all the good stuff that's still in it. Yeah, we couldn't fix that monitor anymore. History. I did not want to give up one of my tubes. See, we are harvesting picture tubes and monitors and chassis for our own sales. So I told the fella he should go and find another game someplace on Craigslist, buy it, take the monitor out and put it in your game. He didn't want to do that. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put in a brand new LCD monitor then you'll never have a problem again. You won't have to worry about it, you won't have to deal with it. So, he took me up in the offer. And we came up with a way to do it, to make his Moon Cresta come alive again. Let's start with Frank. You're gonna, I'm gonna pan over now to him, and he is building the wood that will hold the LCD monitor. This is the panel we're going to mount the monitor. We mount the monitor to this side. You can see the holes already drilled to hold the bracket. One hole for the power cable, one hole for the VGA cable, and this is for the release button so you can release it to pop the monitor off. And on this side is where we mount the converter board and our custom made power supply. This is going to be a 5 volt regulator to power the interface board so we can convert the game signal to a VGA signal. The Dell monitors have a 12 volt output to power speakers, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap off of that, the 5 volt regulator, some filter caps, a power indicator LED, and we're going to fuse it just for safety. Because uh, just put in a screw terminal or a big power supply is going to be overkill, so this should work. And that's because there's no 5 volt power supply right. in a Moon Cresta. Right, this game has 5 volts regulated on the board like a Pac Man. So I don't want to take any voltages off the board just because it's so old. It just doesn't make sense to do that. So we're just well, let's take this. a peek at that here. As you can see, the Moon Cresta board is an awful lot like Bally Midway's Pac-Man board. Look at that, or Galaxian. So you can actually see it more like a Galaxian. But there's the uh, five volt regulating power supply there in the corner, and then the amplifiers at the other end. Right now we're just testing it on the bench. We got our 12 volts coming out of the monitor here, going into the board. I see you beefed up the heat sink. Yeah, it was getting a little warm, so I uh, moved a few things around to accommodate the larger heat sink. It's warm, but the chip is nice and cool, so we know it's working right, it's doing its job. Got an LED here, so we know we have our five volts coming out, and that's what's driving the board here. Now this board doesn't really use much power. It's actually a 3.3 volt regulator here, so. This board doesn't draw a lot of power, but we can see that it is powered up, and uh, we're getting ready to figure out the wiring for the game cabinet, and uh, get ready to give it some final testing. Frank now has it mounted back in the cabinet. You can see the boards are below, and the wooden panel has been installed. And Frank, there's a quick release inside, too. So if the monitor has to come apart, you can actually see the button right there. And there's a button there to release. If you can see that right there, Good. So down the road, if the monitor should fail, it'll be a real easy fix because we've mounted the mounting plate for the 19-inch monitor in the front. And I guess if you just slide that cardboard in, Frank, we can get an idea. This fits in perfectly covers up the television. Now we did have to adjust the game picture because the monitor had to be synced up for this machine. So now you're doing the change out of the sync cables so everything will be plugged in nice and neat. And then this will be all tidied up you can see that in a few minutes. 
And the final result is, since that monitor was 100 volts, Frank had to move the tab from 100 volts to 110 volts to power the outlet that the monitor is plugged in. That's the plug for the Dell monitor. See how nice and tidy Frank has made this with clamps and wire ties. Everything is nice and neat. And as you saw earlier, there's a quick release. When you put your finger up here, you can release the tab of the monitor. And original board we haven't touched. We haven't done anything other than the monitor for the customer. He just wanted the monitor done, which saves a lot of money. See, so we can do this for you too, if you would like us to. And here is the end result. His Moon Cresta, and I am one of the greatest players of all time. Actually, I'm not. This game is a lot like Centauri's Eagle. Different music, slightly different, but it plays a lot like it. I have an eagle in my collection of cabarets. They never made Moon Crested in a cabaret or a trim line. Only in a cocktail table and an upright. Oh gosh, Frank. I actually played this earlier and got pretty far out. Just two buttons and that. Oddly enough, the cocktail table has a joystick, a left and right joystick and not buttons. Now, on your second ship, you get more firepower. Notice I have two. See, originally I only had one shot, so you have a better chance of killing your enemies now. Oh, <laughs> except, except when you're me. <laughs> now I got three ships. Now, Frank, I've got to, I can't fail now, baby. Yeah, However, look at the size of my ship. This, this ship is almost as big as you, Frank. <laughs> Uh, now notice the sound has changed slightly. Somebody else made a mention that this is a little like Space Firebird. I don't think it is. Space Firebird is... I guess it is. We have one more wave of this and then the music changes again. Come on. Oh, God, John. Dead. Anyway, look how crisp and clear the picture is. Really nice. Gorgeous color. The cardboard fit, fit in great. We think our customer is going to be very happy. I just wish he'd let us overhaul the whole game. It's just so ratty. We could do so much with this game. Now, this is the original weight from Mike. Okay, now there was a sticker, too, that did go on some or all of them. I guess it was on this originally. But it looks very nice. And so we could clean this up really nice. At uh, T-molding, we can get either the, the uh, dark or the white. I'd probably put white on that, maybe. That would really set it off nice, but it's not to be. Anyway, let us put an LCD monitor in your game. You can drop the machine off. We'll do it all here. We do nice work, and your game will be, be brought back from the dead. Good night. Good night. Now get out!